Hey guys, welcome back. So Halloween would not be Halloween without a little bloody, gory, scary person, okay? So that is what we're doing today. Um, this is not a character. Um, I literally just felt like I just wanted to put blood all over me. So that's what we're doing today, okay? So um, first you just kind of like want to map out where you want to put your cuts or your wounds and how you want to do everything um so i just wanted some cuts across my chest cut around my face well my lips and also something on my forehead but i didn't get to do that and um so when you're making your wounds i normally use a liquid latex just because it it holds up a lot better but um i really didn't feel like going out to go buy any and i had some school glue or elmer's glue so i said okay you know what let me see if this can work and honestly like it it did the job for the video but i would not recommend using this if you're actually going to be going out trick-or-treating or, or going to go to like a um halloween costume party or anything like that just because you will see that um it just it just falls apart okay and um i don't know maybe it's because i didn't use enough glue or something like that but honestly like it just did not last that long so anyways what you want to do is you want to work in layers okay so the first layer is course of course is going to be the adhesive and then the second layer is going to be your tissue you want to make sure you dry that thoroughly and then build on top of that okay i think i did about two to three layers with my um wounds but of course the thicker you make it um, I guess like the more realistic or the more depth you give your um, wound so just you know you want to keep all that stuff in mind and also like I said you always want to make sure that each layer that you are working with is completely dry because that's going to basically just hold the whole thing together and when you have to cut it open it's going to make that a lot easier. Alright, so once your tissue is completely dry with the glue, then you can just go on top of that with your makeup, um, your foundation, and then you can just very, very, very carefully cut open your wounds, okay? Um, please be careful not to cut yourself, um, and as you can see, like, the glue isn't really, like, adhering that well. Um, as I was cutting the wounds open and just kind of like moving around, it was kind of like coming apart and falling off and I just had to constantly go back over that with the glue. That's why I wouldn't really recommend wearing this out, but to each his own. Um, so then for the eyes, I kept the eyes very, very simple. Um, just red shadow. So I started out with a red base. I don't know why I use red lipstick because I do have red paint, but it worked either way. Um, so you just kind of like want to smudge that all over your eyelid. You want to set that with some red shadow. You want to do the same thing for the lower lashes as well, or for the lower lid of your eye as well. You just want to go in with a lot of different red shadows to give your makeup look some depth. Okay, that's just kind of like what I did. And I just smoked it out all over my eyelid and I just kind of like brought it on the inner part of my eye.
all right so now you just want to use that same red paint or whatever you use for your eyes you want to add that to your wounds and the most important thing when you are creating a wound whether you're using liquid latex or school glue is your shadows is your pigments so of course you need red brown and black okay so the red is just kind of like a regular base for your um wound and the brown and the black is what's going to give your wounds depth it's what's going to give it texture it's what's going to give it that realistic look okay and i'm pretty sure there is some technique on how to apply these different pigments to make it look super realistic but for me because i've done this before i honestly just kind of like go in until i just feel like it looks realistic to me okay so um that's just kind of like what i do but um if you need to go like step by step then look for a tutorial for someone who will break that down for you but another thing that's also going to help your wounds look a lot more realistic is the blood that you use okay so if you want to use um like vampire's blood you also want to get some blood gel and you also want to get um some blood scab okay and the blood scab is going to give your wound that 3d look effect okay and then of course the blood gel mixed in with the regular vampire blood it's going to give that authentic deep dark red blood look that we all love especially if you are trying to make whatever wound or scab realistic okay so honestly just watch the tutorial watch what i do um i don't really have a specific method i just kind of like go with the flow until it looks realistic to me okay And finally, the fun part of this whole makeup look is applying your blood, okay? Um, you just want to drip the blood all over yourself. Um, you know, there's no really right rhyme or reason to this. But also, if you're going to do this with the eyes, please, please, please be very, very careful. This stuff should not be in your eye. I don't even think you should be using it around your eye, but you know... I'm just a daredevil like that so i did um but it did get in my eye and when i tell you it burned like hell so um you know shout out to me for dedication okay and commitment but um i really thoroughly just enjoyed doing this i love sfx makeup looks so all of my lovers all of my sfx makeup lovers show this video some love okay <laughs> um so yeah that just completes this makeup look you guys this halloween look um a thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it comment down below subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys